We have this Vizio mainboard from a customer who says they're having issues with it functioning properly, but one thing we noticed is the LVDS clip here is damaged, so we're gonna have to try and fix it first before we can actually live test it and diagnose it. So let's go ahead and take a look at it under the microscope. Under the microscope, it's very clear that we have some pins are missing over here and some of them are bent on this side. We can tell that there was some repair attempt soldering done here and it actually melted through the clip and it looks like maybe we don't have proper solder on some of these pins. So we're gonna have to do a full replacement of the clip. I'm gonna get started with adding some flux to our pins. And I've been preheating the board a little bit just to get some bottom heat to make it a little bit easier to remove the clip without melting the plastic too much. And we're gonna hit it with some hot air. And there we go. So the bad clip is removed, the damaged clip is off the board. Let's turn off our bottom heat and I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup. And of course I'm noticing we have some damaged traces over here. Uh, does it look like it's folded over? No, okay. We'll remove some of the excess solder. I have to be real careful on those damaged pins or traces. Okay. And we'll do just a little bit of cleanup with some alcohol, get rid of the old flux, the burnt flux. And we have a lot of cotton residue, so let's try and get rid of some of that. We're gonna install one of these clips as our replacement. And I'm gonna need to make sure we line it up so that I don't have to rebuild those two traces that are damaged because it's gonna be a lot easier if I don't have to add a new trace. Okay, that looks properly centered. I'm gonna lock it in by just putting a little bit of solder on the end pins. Okay, we got that side locked in. And that side is locked in as well. I am noticing it's a little bit crooked, so let's adjust it. Oh, that's a little much. And I have a little bit of uh, wiggle room here, so I can make sure I adjust it before I completely lock it in, but. I think that looks good enough. So let's add some new flux and we'll do the rest of the pins. There we go. So it looks like I can, for some reason, bring it from the left side to the right side a lot easier. And 
just keep coating these. Oops. So let's go ahead and using the dental tool, I'm gonna to rack the pins to make sure they're properly soldered. Oh, so this one's a little bit loose it looks like, but the pad is moving with the pin, so that means it is still soldered properly. Okay, looks like all of our pins are properly soldered onto the board. We're gonna do a quick little cleanup with the alcohol. And it looks like our new clip is properly installed. So now we're gonna be able to properly live test it in our TV and perform the actual repair to fix the, uh, the initial issue with the board. If you liked the video, if you found it helpful or useful, leave us a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.